Hello and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here along the Grand Strand. Thanks as always for joining me and I'm bringing you today the mid-year recap here in 2012 looking at the first six months of the year versus 2011 the same period of time. So let's jump right into the numbers. This will be posted on my blog. There'll be a little link. You can get right to the numbers if you like to, to look at the numbers. So hitting the highlights, what did we see? Uh, you know, single family homes. Probably the biggest jump was in the units sold of single family homes. They were up 8%. So we sold 8% more houses in the first six months of 12 than we did last year in 2011. Now the prices relatively flat. We saw single family home prices drop 1%. That's the median sale price, half of which sold above and half sold below a certain number. That's 1% drop in prices. And now and also on the single family homes, we did see distressed sales drop a little bit. 29% of the homes that sold this year in 12 were distressed properties versus 33 or 34% the year before. Now in condominiums, what did we see? We saw units up slightly, 2%. So the amount of condos that sold was up 2% from last year. Average sales price, actually I went median sale price was down 2% on condos. Distressed sales dropped slightly from 36% to 31%. So we're definitely moving in the right direction when it comes to the distressed sales. Land, we saw a big jump, 37% more uh, residential lots went under contract and closed than the previous year. Median sale price dropped 17% and the uh, distressed sales is about 46% of all the closings. So quite a bit of, still, of uh, inventory to slough through on the land. Now speaking of inventory, some really good news is the fact that inventory is about 14% lower today than it was a year ago. And I'm always going to be talking about inventory. We're really watching that. As that continues to shrink, uh, that's when prices can start to rise when we get inventory down even more. Uh, we still have about a 10-month supply of inventory. When that gets around a 6-month supply of inventory, historically, that's when we see prices trending upward. So, a couple things. Um, I do believe, drum roll please, that we are at the cusp at the bottom of this market, right at the bottom. However, with inventory still needing to drop some more, I think we've got a good 18 to 24 months until we see some appreciation. So bottom is upon us with, we saw prices drop very slightly uh, on homes and condos. Distress inventory is dropping, inventory overall is dropping. Now, why aren't prices going to go up right away? A couple reasons. Single family homes, for, for instance, we are seeing more new development than we've seen in five years. New little developments popping up here and there. Developers dropping new inventory at very competitive prices. That's going to keep prices down a bit. And then also you've got to think about all the sellers that have held on, held on, that don't want to own their properties here in Myrtle Beach. As things start to get better, they're going to dump their inventory on the market, which is going to continue to keep inventory high. So I think another couple of years of sloughing through this market, kind of treading at where we are now, I think we'll start to see some growth on prices uh, at that point. So if you have a question, uh, call me, email me. I wanted to keep this brief. You can hit the link at the bottom and check all this information out. And as always, I'm looking forward to talking to you next time with some new exciting things that are going, along, going on here at the Grand Strand. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.